All right, we're good then. Uh, chat was really weird there. All right, so this is, uh, <laughs> what is this? This is the semifinals of the NYSE. Uh, we're playing against Doomsday, and Lavinia is very good against Doomsday. <sighs> Can we really keep this hand, though? We get double draw. Any Moxin lets us time walk. Narset's very good against Doomsday as well. So, like... Both Narset and Lavinia are our top tier cards versus Doomsday. We do have a land. We have two draws from draw from our turn and draw for probe. Obviously, this Opal is dead, but I mean, we might die on turn one. But I, I think that these cards are so good that we should probably keep this. This is game one. I'm gonna keep this hand, especially if we like hit Moxen and time walk into a, like a Lavinia or something. It'd be pretty good. All right, they just cast turn one Doomsday. Oh, turn one Necro. Okay, well. Hmm. It's not turn one Doomsday, so I guess I'm happy. We'll have to see. That's not enough cards. You should draw more cards, friend. Nine? I would draw at least two more cards. I would draw more cards if that was them. Discard Island Street Wraith. They drew five up to nine. I think that's too too little. All right, let's see what opponent's working with here. Holy shit, we're so fucked. Well, they don't have a doomsday. But they do have a negation, a misstep, a fluster, and a daze. And they also have land preordain. I might play something to try to get them to daze me. Hopefully we draw a Moxin. If we draw a Moxin, we could go C Moxin top bait misstep. Eh. I don't know. All right, we do want to draw Mox in here, though. We drew a land instead. We do need to get, like, rid of the days so that we can jam a Lavinia on them. I think I'm going to go C top and try to bait the misstep to start. This should bait the misstep. And then I'll play this Opal and see if I can get the days. All right, so hmm, we're not dead unless they preordain into a doomsday. They might just hold up fluster here, though. Fluster negation days is like pretty hard for me to do anything. They went bottom bottom. So a random draw, which is not bad for us. Uh, the Delta is gone, and the Preordain is gone, and they're going to start Necroing, sure. I need to draw a Moxin. Only th I feel like you should be drawing more cards than this, opponent. I don't understand. I feel like they're not drawing enough cards. All right, we really want to see a Moxin so that I can play a Lavinia. If I can play a Lavinia through this whole Daze Negation Flusterstorm nonsense, we would be in a great shape. So uh, a, a non-Opal Moxin is our best draw. I can't fucking win, huh? Hmm. So if I run the Lavinia in, I get Dazed. If I run the Time Walk in, I get Flustered. Maybe what I can do is brainstorm and bait something that way. The time walk will bait the days. The problem is I don't have anything to follow up a brainstorm even if it gets countered here. Scroll for force of will doesn't do anything because they have a daze already. 
I mean, they're probably going to win on their turn, but what am I going to do? Like, I really don't have... I don't have counterplay in any capacity here. Um, like, Lavinia is easily my best play and plays around almost all of their cards except for Daze. But I, I think I have to go with Brainstorm. I just need this Lavinia... I mean, even if the Lavinia resolves, it might not even be good enough at this point. If this Brainstorm resolves, I would be very surprised with opponent having Fluster. I feel like you should just Fluster this. Yeah, they're going to. I really just don't have counterplay. Uh, I needed to draw Moxin, and I didn't draw Moxin, so... Though, if they don't have a lethal hand, and they pass the turn to me, and I draw like a land or a mox in. Uh, yeah, all right, F6. This takes time walk or Narset. Yeah, of course I needed to force their Necro on turn one. We all know that. I would have gotten dazed and lost anyways, Smash, but. Uh, I mean, we don't haven't played enough. They took the Merchant Scroll? Why? Seems weird. Wait, I know their hand, right? Their hand is Dark Witch Roll, Fluster Storm Days. So they still have nothing. They still have nothing. They drew three. Why aren't you drawing more cards? I want you to draw more cards, opponent. All right, I need to hit a land here. Hitting a land here lets me play Lavinia, which should help. I mean, it's not really going to help, but it'll help a little bit. Land? Fuck! <laughs> Ah, uh, I can't. I need this daze to go away. Any play I make here is like going to get flustered, right? Oh, wait, they already used their fluster. Sorry. So they had an unknown. So they have a negation. But they still have a daze. I guess I should just play the time walk now and make them use the negation. Thanks, Sullivan. I appreciate that. I could have used the ponder maybe, but... I don't know. This will hit negation, I guess. And that, oh, that just happened. Okay. No. This is so good. Why would they do that? All right, land. Why? Fuck. <laughs> I can't win. <laughs> All right, um... I have to just jam, I just, I have to just jam, I have to just jam my Lavinia, right? It gets dazed. And then they have negation for my Narset. It's just like so unplayable. I can wait. Can I wait? I almost conceded. They can daze my Lavinia right now. I don't know if like dazing them is really going to stop them in any capacity. So I think if I just wait, it's better. I don't, if we win this game, it's extremely lucky. I mean, they know that I have a Lavinia and a Narset, which are both insane versus them. Not insane, like great versus that, what? Demonic consultation for a doomsday. And then they, and then they kill us probably. Okay. They hit the Doomsday pretty 10 cards down. Did they bin anything that mattered here? Not really. They binned one Oracle. If, if they hit double Oracle, that might have been enough. 
If they'd hit double Oracle, that would have been good enough. No, that's not true. They have a they have a a force of negation. My Narset is always going to get countered. No matter what I do, the Narset is always going to get countered. Uh if they have a cantrip in their hand, they can win this turn. We know we don't know two cards. If they have a cantrip, they win the game this turn. If they don't have a cantrip, I don't think the Lavinia is gonna do it. So all they need is a cantrip, and then they just they just draw into their other oracle. We were so far, I, I think this game would have been over if opponent had just drawn like 12 cards to start with this Necropotence. I don't know why they drew like four cards at a time. Very odd. I guess they had like an infinite counter spell, so maybe that's why, but. Yo, Yama, thanks for the host. I appreciate that. Welcome everybody. We are in the top four of the NYSC Vintage Charity Tournament. Um. We're playing against Doomsday. We're getting smacked around a little bit. It kind of feels like they don't have uh, a cantrip in their hand because they are choosing to not. All right. Uh, they're putting a Misty Rainforest back in. Why? Maybe they're just slow. Okay, exile down to one and pass. We know they have four stays. Oh, I should have responded to that. Ancestral target themselves. I'm bouncing this Lotus in case my Lavinia resolves. I don't think that helps, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure no matter what I do here, my opponent just plays Athasa and I die. They can do anything they want. <laughs> We're just so dead. If we draw, if we draw a, if we draw an Ancestral, and opponent didn't put a fluster or a force into their hand, we can win. Um, if we draw a force of will, and opponent didn't put a fluster or a force in their hand, we can win. We draw an island, no one cares, and we lose. That's not true, they're at one card. So they just have, they, all they have to do is just jam an Oracle and we know that they have Days Negation. So there's no reason to play a Narset, but it's our only play. So we're just gonna play it, I guess. The, 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 the Lavinia doesn't do anything, so. Like if they have a Thassa, they have a Thassa and we lose. So it doesn't really matter. Exiled Chain of Vapor. So yeah, they were just gonna chain our Lavinia. Yeah, oh well. They just play a Thassa's Oracle here. What we really needed to do to win this game was opponent had to hit both their Thassa's Oracles off their console. Unfortunate. Pretty rough. Opponent's hand was obviously a lot more powerful than ours. All right, uh, oh man, the finals match is going to be tough if we ever make it there. So opponent is boarding in, maybe Steel Sabotage, probably Duress, maybe Hercules. Those are the kind of cards that opponent is boarding in. Uh, we're boarding in Camball, Lavinia number three. 
Fluster Storm and Mind Break Trap. And we're going to board out Island, Repeal, Hercules Recall, and Oh, Oracle's a dumb, powerful card. They just upgraded Laboratory Maniac. <laughs> I don't know why they put that on there. Uh, it's crazy. We're definitely down to 12 lands. We're definitely keeping all the counter spells. Definitely keeping the draw spells. I think I want to keep Karn. It's not the the best card, but it's fine. Maybe we'll just board out this, this Grim Monolith. I don't really know what else I want to board out. All these other cards are kind of important, I think. I think this is how we want to board. Yeah, let's board like this. All right. I've already brought in Campbell. He's there. No worries. All right, on the play, game two versus Doomsday. Lavinia Force misstep? Sure. No, I think Campball is good against Doomsday. Uh, it's enough incidental card damage uh, damage that it's actually good, I think. Yep, we boarded out Basic Island because mm, Po doesn't need 13 lands to operate. It really only needs about 12. Um, you only play extra lands out of respect for Shops and Wasteland. I'm gonna run straight into days, by the way. I'm going to slam my I'm gonna slam my Lavinia and hope it works out. Ah, uh, yeah, I disagree with what Terror is saying. I think Doomsday is hardest one of the hardest combos to disrupt in vintage and one of the most powerful combos, so these stupid opals have been just terrible draws today. I'm gonna make them have days, by the way. I, I'm just going in. Days get sported out on the draw sometimes. It's not the greatest against PO, so. As a force, I force back. Keeping my mist up. All right, we have an, an active Lavinia. That's a start. We also have nothing going for us, but all right. Uh, I'll take the two damage to not show you my hand. You have Ancestral. This game sucks. <laughs> Fuck. All right, can I have my own Ancestral, please? No, yeah, well. I've got a 2-2, I guess. They exiled to Dig Through Time, which obviously you can't cast through Lavinia, so a good idea. I don't like where we're at, chat. This doesn't seem great for Justin. All they need to do is find a land and, uh, yeah, it's too late, Chris. I needed your luck at the start of this round. Doomsday's too broken. Ah, uh, I mean, it is the best deck in the format, so it's okay. All right, if I can draw an Ancestral Recall like my opponent did, I think we have a shot. That's not a terrible draw. We are beating down with our 2-2. I don't know what casting this does. Mm. Man. Does opponent have chain? Is that what they're going with here? What's going on? Another land? I wish I had like a Night's Whisper or something that I could flash back or literally anything. You have Chain? Uh, they have Sanctuary in their deck? 
No, okay, well that's good for me. I'm just gonna crack one of these now. I wanna keep one for brainstorm. Which means I probably should have kept the opal in my hand. But I didn't want the opal to get like duressed and then I don't have a tinker target. But maybe that's like not a real a real thing that can happen when I have a Yagmas will in my hand. Opponent's at eight life. What you got for me, friend? This Yog Will is so sad. This Yog Will is not very good right now. <laughs> I have so many bad draws in my deck, like Opals and Moxin and Po. I have so many bad draws. Infinite bad draws. I just have nothing going for me. Yeah, this is part of the reason why PO is not the best. Oh no, that can't be good. They go to six to do this. I think I'm just not going to be able to win from here, but we'll see what happens. Yeah? Yeah? Go to three? I got, I got, I know, I have a, bl a fluster. I'm, I'm just waiting. Obviously, they're putting the ancestral back. If they cast preordain and have no counters, we do have a fluster. So our, our line here is like fluster them and then untap and draw a time walk, <laughs> probably. I mean. Cycle Street Wraith would be pretty reasonable too if they had no counters. So cycle down to down to one, and then we fluster and hope the fluster resolves, and then he'll kill him with the Lavinia. That would be lit. I would be okay with that. I would be okay with anything that gets us through this stupid game and into game three. But I'm not. I'm not optimistic, chat. I'm. I'm not optimistic here. But it might happen. It could happen. Crazier things have happened. I should draw, yeah, if I drew Ancestral, yeah, that would be a pretty reasonable one. But I got lands and Mox Opals, which are just infinitely more powerful, right? Come on now. How do you cast Ancestral without a land, you know? Uh, I had to stop running hot at some point, right? All right, opponent, let's see what you have in hand. The best thing that can happen is for you to cycle a Street Wraith into your Ancestral and have no counterspell for my Fluster. And we attack with our Lavinia. Come on. Oh! Oh! Step one. Step two. Step three. No fluster? No, you don't have a fluster. Come on! <laughs> Wait, I have enough mana, right? I have enough mana, right? I have enough mana. This should be fine. There's no way I, I there's no way I can I can't I can't pay for this. I just have to figure out which ones I can pay for. Oh my god, it's the it's the pay for fluster game. Hold on chat. We're gonna we're gonna play with our magic online strategy here. Play into his outs. Alright, uh this fluster targets this fluster. Okay, so then he has a fluster targeting one, targeting two, targeting four, targeting three, and then retargeting two. So as long as I pay for this third one. Alright, targeting one, targeting two. Targeting four, targeting three, targeting two. So if I counter the one targeting, targeting three, targeting four. If I just counter targeting four here, that should be fine. If I just counter any of them, it should be fine, probably.
I think we did it. We get to play game three. <laughs> ah, I have successfully manipulated the, <laughs> the stupid MTGO interface. And we get to play on the draw, and we get to play game three versus Doomsday. I need to pee. Ah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Let's get this, get this bad boy back up. Safe. All right, okay, all right, okay. So, do we still want all of the cards that we wanted? We don't want repeal, Lotus, none of these things. Nope, nope, nope. All right, submit. They cycled a Street Wraith to go to one, because they had to draw into their spell. This is a turn one Citadel hand, but they have to have fucking nothing. They kept seven. All right, let's battle chat. We're doing it. I think I play this, oh, they know all my hand. All right, well, kill me. No, probably not resilient enough, but what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I'm supposed to keep it. I'm gonna play Delta to play around days. I'm gonna go Mox, Vault, Lotus, cast my Citadel and hope it's good enough. They cycled a Street Wraith. If we get countered, we get to untap and we have D Demonic and Yagwell? I don't know, it seems fine. I don't want to... Do they have a Mind Break Traps? They don't have any mind break traps. They could have a duress though. Draw fluster? Fair. I mean, we have lines that go like Mox, Mana Vault, Lotus, Demonic Tutor, Demonic Tutor for. Even if you Demonic Tutor for. Well, that's just not good enough. Nope. Am I getting to rest? Oh, their tombs, their turn one. Oh, they necroed. Well, see if they find force, I guess. They have to find force, right? That's the only thing they can find. They have to find, we beat days, so they have to find one of their five forces. They went to four life. They went up to a million cards. That sounds about better. They pitch seven cards and they go <laughs> and they have to have a force. They, they knew they had to find a force, so they did. I mean, they can find a mental misstep too. I guess that would just let us Yogwell, so that doesn't actually work either. Yo, what up, Bo? How you doing? 
We're battling. We're battling. <laughs> See if they found a force, I guess. Yeah, it's been a fun day, actually. It's been a pretty fun day. They pitched a bunch of cantrips, a fluster storm chain. We just have to beat their 14 card hand, okay? No big deal. Does that change everything? I don't think that changes anything. They still just have to have a force. Or a misstep, I guess. What if we demonic? So if we, if we make black mana with our Lotus and we cast demonic, we go to four mana, we find a force of will, and then we cast Yog will and we go, it doesn't net us any mana though. If I demonic for a flood, we don't, this doesn't net us any mana is the problem. You wanna go for a PO with fluster backup? But you're only POing for two, so that's not very good. We could Demonic and then PO and have one mana left. We can PO for two with Fluster backup. We could Demonic, but Lavinia and Camball are still going to lose the Force of Will. So is there really any point? If we go Lotus, Demonic for Camball, cast Camball, can we cast Will after? Six mana, four mana, sorry, seven mana, five mana, three mana down to two mana, gets forced and we lose. I mean, we can we can will again, but the will is only bringing back Lotus Demonic. I don't really see a reason not to. Well, the reason not to yeah, Citadel is we don't have the ability to replay Yagwell after. It's so greedy to demonic and pass. I can't imagine there's a demonic and pass line. Like there's definitely a line where we demonic for uh for like camball and play a camball, but that doesn't beat that doesn't like it doesn't do anything different than playing than playing citadel. Like playing citadel is exactly the same as demonic for camball. Cuz I can't replay my yog will anyways. I could demonic for two minutes, two minutes. And then I can reset with my Lotus. The problem with any DT line is it doesn't actually help me more than just playing Citadel does. Like, every line that involves Demonic Tutor, if, it, if I get forced, ends in the same place as Citadel, but without a Demonic Tutor. If I Demonic for anything... What if I Demonic for a, a Mana Crypt that's mana neutral, that doesn't do anything? Why do we care about that? They're gonna counter Will. It's the same thing. Leading on PO? What does that do for us? Doesn't do anything for us. I'm POing for two. Why do I want to PO for two? 
I don't think any of our hands beat Force of Will. And it, so what one sets us up best for afterwards? Do any of them even change for afterwards? If I Demonic for Ancestral, is that my best line? Demonic for Ancestral. And then I have, I can't, yeah, Demonic for Ancestral is probably my best line then. That runs into three, four black down to four, four black, uh, Ancestral. If they counter Ancestral, we follow up with a, that's probably the best line. This way, it forces them to have two counter spells. I guess they could just force my demonic. So maybe I was not supposed to use this mana vault. Oh no, I have to use this for blue mana though. I guess I can PO if they force my demonic. So that's pretty reasonable. I think that Ancestral makes the most sense and plays around the most things. I think every other DT line isn't very good. It's just worse than just playing Citadel. So they had negation? Shit. So I should respond to this with PO for two, I think. Because there's no reason to... A Yogwell when I don't have a dig through a demonic tutor in my yard. Uh, yeah, this is good. If I go Mana Vault, Yogwill is only four mana. I can PO again for two. If I force this negation, what can I get off my demonic? I can just go get a, like an Opal or a Sapphire. And no, I can't do that because then I can't time walk. If I go get a black source, I'm only I'm one black source. If I force this and I get a jet, I then can Yogwill my Lotus. My one mana short. I'm one mana short. If I get a mana crypt, I can Yogwill my Lotus to turn it into black mana. I don't have a pedal, so I force this, I get a mana crypt, I go Mox, mana crypt, mana vault, Yogwill, Lotus, Citadel. I'm in. Does that leave me dead to days? Zero mana, three mana, five mana, six mana, it leaves me dead to days. Mm, maybe I should just go Sapphire and then I can PO for three. Crypt gets me to exactly six mana for Citadel because Crypt makes five mana, six mana, use the Yog will use the Citadel. Whereas if I go Sapphire, I can still go Yagwa with two mana, Lotus PO for three. But then I'm probably never casting Citadel. I'm gonna go with Mana Crypt, I think. Two days is. What if I Demonic? Is there anything I can do with Demonic Tutor here?
What about Pio here? For three? Demonic. I can demonic for... Mm. I've already used my land drop, so the Citadel isn't as good. Heal for three with no blue mana is not great, but I could demonic for like a, a, an opal or a sapphire. That might be better. I think it's better. I'm gonna go sapphire so I can still draw opal. This plays around days and it doesn't lose to the top of my library. I think they might have days. And it also makes my PO4. This has been a very interesting game. I'm gonna go Sapphire so I can still draw Opals. I don't think the white mana is gonna matter. The black mana might matter though, because I wanna actually cast my Citadel maybe, so I should go Opal. Never mind, I'm going Opal. And then Pio with 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 backup with ba days backup. We're off. We're off to the fucking races. Spam those. P I am actually Pios in chat. We're fucking going places now. I just gotta win fast enough. Oh, I accidentally used the black man. You hate to see it. Accidentally used the black mana. That could actually hurt me. I think I'm just going to... Do I want to use my blue now? No, I think I want to just cast another Paradoxical. I fucked that up. It, it auto-used my black mana. It auto-used my black mana. I'm not happy about it. But we should be fine. Mystical for uh, another PO maybe? Or maybe we mystical for a, a time walk. No, I only have two. I only have two blue mana. I can't do that. I can just play a Lavinia. Time walk is gone. Time walk is gone. I could just play a Lavinia. Well, there's no hurt in me. I think I need to just... I fucked up because it, it used my black mana or else I could play a, a citadel. Really, really fucked me over. It's my own mistake, but it was a really bad play. Really, really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. I could have had Citadel this turn. Citadel is actually kind of scary still there too, though. I'm not sure that would be good enough. I shouldn't be able to die this turn because they shouldn't be able to play Doomsday unless they have a time walk. Ancestral target themselves. Yeah. They can chain a Vapor it. They already lost one chain. They don't have a time walk on. I have a time walk on. We could lose this game. I think I fucked up pretty majorly. I couldn't draw it and cast it though, because I only had double blue. All right, we got to go to our turn, which is really good for us, but we do have to play around Flusterstorm now. I actually just have to attack twice too. So maybe I should just set up as much counter magic as I can get. If we kept the black mana, we had it, but I didn't keep the black mana because I fucked up, obviously. If I put a Mystical, if I put a, uh, a P.O. on the top of my library, I have Flusterstorm back up for P.O. 
Uh, I could just go Citadel active. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't have enough for Citadel activate. I'm pretty sure I just want to mystical a PO to the top of my library. What is this? Maybe I could just mystical and I think I just want to force. Theo might take too long. Doomsday kills them now, right? He had days! He had fucking days! Let's go! He had days! We played around days with the PO line! This kills them, right? Why would I counter it? It's lethal, right? No, they're they're killing themselves. That's fine with me. They had days and we played around days with the PO line. That's so sick. That's so sick. Oh, so sick. Oh, thanks for the subs, guys. Appreciate that. That's so sick. I can't believe it. What a sick line. What a super good line. Oh, all right. We get some big brain PO credit there. I think we get a little bit of big brain PO credit. <laughs> oh, sometimes. I feel like I play well, and that one was that was one of them. Whoa, holy shit. We're playing Andy in the finals. What did we win? Games one and th or two and three? Anyone know which games we won? I don't know which games we won.